Davinia, I have a question about uh, investment thesis. So do you have a clearly <laughs> defined investment thesis and are there industries where you see more women investing in, uh, um, starting new businesses where you can match your thesis and match the industry with women investing seamlessly? Okay, so that's that's a very good question. And again, it, it really comes to the context of what we do here at the Access Accelerator. Um, from, a, from an organizational point of view, it was important to us not to pigeonhole ourselves into any specific theses. Um, initially, it's something very new we were doing in the country. We needed to help as many people as quickly as possible in as many industries as possible, simply to to bring to the fore the entrepreneurial spirit, which we knew was always here in the Bahamas. We've always been very entrepreneurial, um, but the support hasn't really been there. The finances, the investments, the training, and like I say, the advisory, that, that part of it has been missing. Um, and so we didn't start off by having these uh, focal points for investment, target industries for investment. However, you know, three years into it now, we're, we're a bit excited to begin to focus on certain points. A lot of it is connected to some of the sustainable, sustainable development goals. Um, there's definitely a focus on technology. Uh, there's a focus um, on fishing and farming. Um, COVID has brought a lot to light in the Bahamas during the period of time when you know we were going through shutdowns. There, there was a lot of concern about our vulnerability as a small um, island nation to, to imports of simple things like food. Um, and so as an organization, it's important for us to encourage more entrepreneurs, male and female, to focus on certain types of industries. That said, when you try to match, you know, the gender of an entrepreneur and certain industries, I, I think you may be running a, a line that could be a little bit dangerous. I don't think there's any industry that's predisposed for a particular um, gender. However, um, I, I, I want to encourage women to look at some of the industries that we haven't really had a foothold in. So for example, when you look at the multiplier effects um, in the finance industry, you find that is a lot higher, people feel like there's a lot um, a higher risk envi um, environment for investing. And before time, there were very few women leaders in that space. Um, I'm happy to say, you know, there's another panelist today, um, uh, Michelle Thompson from the Bahamas, you know, she, she runs um, Ernest and Young here in the Bahamas, and you know a number of our financial institutions here are led by women. A number of our offshore banks, Deltec, a major um, player in the crypto space, surely that you may be familiar. Um, that organization is led by a woman, Odetic. Um, so there are a number of women, and in, in particularly in the Bahamas, in the financial space, beginning to take a lead. Now ownership is a little different from leading, and so I think we're making strides in that space, but. I really don't want to segregate uh, to say that you know a particular industry is predisposed to a particular gender. I what I'm preferred to say is don't let anybody squeeze you out of an industry because of your gender. I love it. I love it, and I think that um, being <laughs> thesis agnostic in terms of let's observe what mm -hmm. the world, what our environment is telling us so we can make investments that make sense because many of these things we don't know until we invest. And exactly. many of these industries won't exist if we don't invest. And many of these category defining products or services won't be category defining products or services. Actually, we don't even know how to call them. So we're not mm -hmm. gonna put ourselves into a thesis that then we need to stick to and we miss all the innovation and we miss all these amazing exactly. entrepreneurs that are just mm -hmm. learning mm -hmm. for themselves and for us. So right. I, I just love it and, and, and I, I love that insight into that.